He called me pretty, he said, why I fell into his bed, no thoughts in my head, not knowing I should have went home instead. He called me pretty with his chest, our bodies a little too pressed, all I wanted to do was go home and rest, but apparently it was the way that I was dressed. He called me pretty, I now know the truth, that pretty is code word for abuse, that calling me pretty means I cannot refuse, that calling me pretty was going to be the excuse. Pretty is your form of corrosion to make damaged girls feel special. Pretty is your diamond amongst the rocks. You wanted me to shine, to sparkle, to be glitter at your fingertips so that your touch would be golden and we could say that we mind it and that it was rare not knowing you have to crush a boulder in order to find gold to begin with so that we could say that it was worth it, that it was accepted even though we both know it wasn't wanted. His breath on my neck acted like a dragon burning up my skin how I wanted to burst up open into flames but instead I sat sat there in the stillness of the moment trying to make peace with something before it even happened because I knew what was coming and I guess that's why people ask me why didn't you do anything to stop it and I want to tell them that every single fucking light was red, but that doesn't stop a person's mind like that from seeing green. I mean, you see yellow and four on the gas pedal, don't you? A traffic cone won't stop a vehicle from going into that lane. If it wants to run it over, it will. But we don't ask the traffic cone why I didn't tell the car to slam onto the brakes, no. We ask the driver why I would go into that lane if there was traffic cones blocking it off to begin with. But then we make all different types of excuses for the driver, like where they intoxicated. How was their day? Was it rough? How was their childhood like? Did the traffic cone look more like an ice cream cone? Was it enticing or was it more like a party hat, like your own personal fiesta? But none of it should matter because the sign read stop in all bold letters. Yes, some people don't know the fucking alphabet. So yes, he called me pretty and yes, it was nice. But sometimes sugar has a little spice. Sometimes honey isn't always sweet. Sometimes dessert isn't always a treat. So yes, he called me pretty. He called me pretty. But afterwards, all I felt was ugly. I now know I'm pretty when I say no and I stand firm on it. I'm pretty when I speak up about things that others might not have the courage to do so yet and may never get the courage to do so because we built a society that blames the victims, asking them what they could have done better to prevent it, instead of asking people why they do the things that they do to begin with. So call me pretty, call me beautiful, call me majestic, tell me I look like the first time that you've ever seen the sunset, even when I feel hideous, even when I feel more survivor than human, and I will say thank you. I always have been. Thank you.